Alright everyone, hopefully yesterday you, got, you saw my review of Pixels. So today yeah, you will get to see my review of the new boxing movie star directed by Antoine Fuqua. Um, starring Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie. And essentially, Jake Gyllenhaal's character in this movie, something tragic happens to him and his life just goes out of a complete spiral and you feel and go on this journey. And I'm definitely going to say that this is definitely one of the best performances I've seen all year. And this, it may not be the best movie, but I would say it's one of the best performances of the year. Jake Gyllenhaal just kills it in this movie. He's really great. He's such a chameleon. He went from one of the most deprived and likable characters from last year's movie, Nightcrawler, to a very sad and sympathetic character in this movie. And you really know how to feel like he, you're in his position. You know how to feel his sadness, his tragedy. And you do really sympathize with him as it goes along. And the film does not hold back. And it's truly unforgiving for how it goes along like that. And everyone in this movie gives a stellar performance. Rachel McAdams, 50 Cent. Hell, even, I'm not joking. Um, Forrest Whitaker gives a damn great performance. And I love them for it. They know the great, being a great performance, and they knew how to really, know how to show the real portrayal of the real sadness and tragedy and how dark this could truly get. And, like, it does not apologize. Apologize. And doesn't rel doesn't relent up as it goes along with this type of intensity that's going on. It's like you just there's a long march, but I'm just like I get it, I get it how sad this is, and I'm just like, oh, sheesh. There's two times in this movie where I almost broke down in tears. The ending, while predictable, still hits. Um, and. Like, there's, there's so much good things in this movie. The writing is great. There's so many certain things in this movie that I thought was really, really great. However, for all the great things you can see in this movie, I will say this. Number one, it is not that original. It, 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 it kind of does follow the, the traditional path of a box movie story. The guy on top of his world gets knocked down, and he tries to fight back, and try go through ups and downs on his way through, but in the end, you get to the end, and I'll leave. Out. You guys should see it. Because the story, while I, while I was invested, A, it's not that original, and B, it does not go, it feels like it's kind of playing the story or the typical boxing story safely. It, it feels like it's like, oh, these other movies were successful doing that, like the most famous version, Rocky. So therefore, we can do the same and get away with it, right? No, it doesn't work like that, guys. You gotta be more original. Gotta be taking more chances. You gotta take it more unpredictable field. See, this movie, as good as it is, it feels like it tackles the same ground any other boxing movie would do. It has a personal tragedy. It has the real final anticlimactic fight that you get and you end up winning. There is a couple more where you will get knocked down. And it's like, while it is powerful and it is well done, it's just so much of what we've seen before and so many times in, in movies like Warrior, um, The Fighter, Rocky, Tr Raging Bull, like so many famous boxing movies out there have kind of done this type of stuff before and they honestly have done it kind of better and some of them have done it better, some of them have done it worse. But in the end, it's like, this it still feels like familiar ground for a boxing movie. Before. So therefore, I feel like it's not taking much a, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, I feel like A is tackling no new grounds, and B, it feels like it's giving us the type of stuff in boxing movies we have seen before, and while it is effective, it's like, I do ask you for the movie, please take some more chances, I want to see you take more chances, okay, because I really want to see this character go through this certain new, new things instead of seeing traditional stuff we've seen in boxing movies. Or in sports movies, perhaps. Come on, you're gonna be more original like that. And that for me really does kill the film in a certain degree. However, it does not ruin the overall experience because this is a, because to me, I will say, is this worth? Is this movie worth seeing the theaters or not? 
and I can sincerely say with every single bone in my body, yes, see this movie in theaters. If you're not afraid of seeing a hard, unapologetic film, not a fun, but not a fun, light, fluff film like Inside Out, I don't know, something like that. But it's like this. This is a dark film. I will say, well, this is just a dark film. And in the end, for me, I'm gonna say this movie, overall, in my opinion, is really good. However, it's not without its faults. So therefore, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give this movie an overall. Um. Um. I, I need a moment to rethink it, but. Uh, I'm gonna say this is that when is that when it comes to my brain system, when anything 55% and higher for me is a pass. 55% is a pass for me, not 50%, 55. Even though it's like, yeah, 50 and more is anything but a pass, but I think I would say 60% and up for me and my rating system is worth seeing. If you if you really are already planning to see it. And in the end, I'm going to give this movie, South Park, a 64% in the end. And that's my final rating for South Park, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching, as always. And stick around for this week when I will review one, another of one of my favorite movies. Till then, everyone. I'm Jack Newton, and I'll see you until then. I'm out. Bye.